property in Aurora. Coming here, sampling, really exciting. This one's an old gold mine, um, right down the road from Weekend Gold Miners. Don't tell anybody. Let's see, hopefully I won't put this video out unless we get access first. More Aurora gold pin sampling for a beautiful property. You got two creeks meet. This is it. Sampled both. Both of them have a ton of fine mercury amalgamated gold coming out of it. Inexperienced panner or even experienced panners who've never come across mercury would have no idea the color. They would think there was no gold in their pan. I'll show you in a little bit. All right. More of the same property here in Aurora. Beautiful day out. We had a close call yesterday. If I go back to that same way, I'm going to show you. Uh, we walked by a wasp nest in the ground. My dad got stung once. It's a miracle they didn't continue to chase us and sting us. But uh, something you got to be real careful for. Like a lot of stuff out here can kill you. It's dangerous. But uh, I know you guys hear me talk about shale bedrock a lot. And that's what I want to show you here. This is Little Tiny Creek. It's coming off of an old mine. This is the yesterday where there was uh, a Y. I showed you uh, the two creeks coming in, sampled them. Um, I actually sampled further up. One of them had no mercury at all. And this one, the mercury is pouring out of it. I'm about to do my first sample pan. I'm about 80 feet up it. But this is what I want to show you, the shale bedrock. They're going the opposite direction of the creek. Down there, the bedrock's running the same direction as the creek, once again. And uh, here, it's almost completely horizontal. But this is what I'm talking about here. This is what's valuable. You see this stuff? This is just beautiful. It's like a natural sluice box. And look how it's breaking. See this stuff breaking out. And it's got all this material underneath it. That stuff right there is what you want to be painting. This is just, I love this Georgia shale bedrock. A lot of different kind of bedrock. People don't know why they're not getting gold or sometimes it's much better. You get some real uh, smooth stuff that just doesn't want to catch it. But this stuff, I'd hate to be gold trying to travel through here, I can tell you that. But uh, here, it's too hard to show you the pan. I just can't hold the camera but this is what I'm doing I'm taking chunks of this stuff it's all I, I just broke that big piece here that was a big piece of bedrock sitting across here I need to take all that stuff off the back I guess but I'm taking this it's all filled with material beautiful stuff stuck to it using my little waterfall here to wash in and, but this is what we'll be painting I'll try and take a picture of the gold after or maybe do another video and add it on Bear with me, but this is what you guys want to be painting up here in Georgia. Just don't come do it over here. All right. Wish me luck. Look at this bedrock. Unbelievable. Rusty red. Filled with material. Oh, my God. I can't wait to paint this. All right, guys. See you soon. Man, I wish I could show you guys. I just did my best pan 42 colors is unbelievable tiny tiny microscopic really fine but they're there 42 colors i've never seen my best pan so far been uh, i think it was 33 on a property on the uh, test river but this right here just uh actually kind of went on the metal detector found out where the iron was running it tends to always be this way for me right down the middle you guys see let sample the middle of the creek or river here we go i'm gonna show you some of the layout here Look at this. We know what that is in Georgia. Tons of tailings. Well, actually, just one. No rocks in that one. It's all sand or dirt. Not really. I've never seen that before. Anyone knows why there would be no rocks with that big pile of sand there. I'm thinking it's overburden or pay dirt stack. I haven't sampled it, but i got to keep moving. Might sample on the way back, but beautiful. Your big S turn in the creek. Rocks all over, but... Supposedly there's an old mine up here. I'm gonna go look now.